Welcome back to the episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and today, amazing, amazing news. A skull went down, but key difference we've been raided so already off to a fan freaking fantastic day exactly the type of day i hope all of you guys are having yourselves an absolutely fan freaking fantastic kind of just go ahead and restock this you guys can see we are already kitted and ready to go for the revenge raid as well but first things first we got something amazing some crazy new stuff to talk about coming straight from kafir so without further ado boom what you guys are seeing right here is going to be what was posted in a discord uh earlier this morning a couple hours ago it was just posted in the discord Scored by one of the dev team members and nothing no, nothing no words were given with it just this image was posted so by the looks of it this is very interesting and actually the reason that i wanted to uh i i i have suspicion to believe that this is a revamped infected forest that we are seeing because as you guys remember they were teasing that a uh, witch enemy we'll go ahead and talk about that here just a just a gif no worries but uh, they were teasing that new revamp they're going to be doing of the infected forest they were talking about that a tad bit a while ago and honestly this is looking what the new infected forest might be like especially when you take into account do you guys see that tree over on the right uh that pretty much confirms that it's probably got to be outside i don't think you're gonna have a random tree like that just growing inside and in, in the middle of nowhere right so 100 percent this has to be an outdoor zone and those trees look exactly like the type of trees we are used to seeing in the infected forest they're kind of like the dying dead type of trees but this area in the middle the bulk of the meat literally and figuratively that we're seeing smack dab in the middle is something similar to what we've seen in the blind one's cave the blind one being the only other true boss the big one's kind of a boss but he doesn't have any cool mechanics and it's definitely not reasonable to take him down it takes a crazy amount of uh, stuff to go into it but this is a different case with the blind one and this floor is looking similar to the blind one which makes me think that this is the screamer slash witch enemy that we've been having teased uh, for the last little while here if we go ahead and show this right here which you guys are seeing was actually posted a couple days ago by the devs as well this is going to be the screamer slash witch enemy and also the reason that I think that these two are connected these are kind of like two pieces of information that have been shared relatively close to each other and definitely have a great great chance at being connected given the context of it but again what you guys are seeing is the uh, witch or whatnot being modeled in whatever modeling software that they use and this thing is looking very dope albeit not very tall not very swole not massive like the blind one which is why i'm interested she does have that weird growth on her one arm but i wonder how this boss battle is gonna go down i'm guessing it's gonna be of similar difficulty to the blind one right because it's it's gonna be a boss battle or something maybe hard maybe it'll be easier since ah, i don't know dude because you are gonna be getting a very nifty prize from this boss fight that prize of course being her head exactly what you guys are seeing right here so if you guys don't know what i'm talking about uh this was posted and even i covered this couple i think it was like two or three weeks back at this point uh this is going to be what we're going to be able to put down at home light on fire and that will ultimately keep the horde away for a certain amount of time how long that time might be i don't know maybe a week maybe a couple weeks they haven't said exactly how long and how this is going to work but they have they have said how it's going to work though which again is that this trophy the head of the zombie which i'm guessing is going to be one of the main lures of going to the infected forest and taking this boss down is going to be to get her head so you can ultimately create this shrine this this thing that you then light on fire and ultimately keeps the horde away although a couple months back when they were talking about the q a and even previewing stuff a little bit i think you also might be able to get her heart because i think that there are two main components to the wish as at least we're calling from last stuff like for now what we're seeing for sure though is 100 the head is going to be something that she can drop it's looking like she this is going to be the new infected forest enemy and we have seen the revamped infected forest as kind of the, the connections that make the most sense at least in my eyes and potentially in years but so they also were talking about a heart that is going to have the opposite effect and they've even at some point i think they showed off something similar with the heart but i think they're going to have polar opposite effects where the head for example will keep the horde away whereas if you like skewer the heart and like 
light it on fire, maybe just like skewer the heart on a stick and put it somewhere. It draws the horde towards you or towards the area where you do that. Because I think the special thing that they were really pushing is that you'd be able to put it in different zones and thus draw the horde to a different zone, which potentially might have some interesting mechanics at play with it. But so with that said, with that done, that's going to wrap it up for the information I got to share today coming from Kafir. Honestly, very, very cool info here at the Witch. Can't wait to hear what you guys got to say in that comment section down below and around the comments, but you're third of the way into me to our I do such place store gift card giveaway. All you got to do as well is make sure to like button, make sure you're subscribed. That lunch you want today's video. I can go ahead and enter it on every single last day on Earth video. Let's set it rolls and I'll pick a random video from the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video and that's if you'll be the winner before that week and we'll be kicking off a new weekly giveaway as well so a fan freaking fantastic stuff make sure that notification bell is hit so you don't miss any of it and uh can't wait to continue giving you guys info like this juicy stuff that we got today continuing having a ton of fun checking out the game doing our raids and of course covering absolutely everything and updates as soon as possible 1.8.3 unfortunately did not have a huge amount of stuff for us to cover mainly it was we, we covered in last episode that was pretty concise so if you guys haven't seen that that's gonna be a pretty good one for you guys to go ahead and watch but nonetheless man still really cool to see the multiplayer progress uh, I talk about that a little bit more in that video. Don't want to get into it too much. I do want to stay on topic. And that topic, of course, being this witch here for a little bit, which is honestly looking... Dude, it's, it's going to be so awesome to have a new boss. And if that is indeed the infected force that we were seeing earlier, the new skin or the new way it's going to work, that is going to be so hype. And hopefully she even drops a prize. Like, maybe it'd be awesome if that head that we saw, we can actually hang kind of like the blind one head that we got chilling up here that would be uh, personally I, I i would enjoy that too you know i don't i don't need to light it on fire but if i could have a trophy head chilling you know i could continue expanding and probably creating a new trophy room i think we might need to encase the trophy room the true trophy room in steel and we just got generators the best weapons i think we can put melee weapons here so i might actually put some of those as well but pretty much some of our best stuff there and uh the blind one had so it'd be awesome to have uh the screamer slash witch head as well as a prize hopefully she'll drop some other loot as well kind of like the blind one but i think the head is going to be the key to all of this and it's gonna do that I just can't wait for that boss battle. Make sure you guys are subscribed because as soon as that boss battle comes, we're going to be diving straight into it, lads and lassies. But uh, with all that crafted up, we have an inventory full of probably even too many hatchets for our own good. We are going to need to put a couple of these puppers away. I say we bring... I I think let's... let's eh, yeah, that's, that's okay. We'll bring these are five and then these uh, as well. well we'll bring the broken one too because this one's about to break anyway but then this stuff over here we'll actually go ahead and uh put away we'll actually we're keeping that meat with us but these things we gotta go and put away but before that happens uh i made my wallet cry again my, my wallet's not having a fun we 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 did we did the unthinkable the we got more explorer bags god dang it let's get to opening and let's get to hoping oh ooh. okie dokie if that's how we're playing the game last day. Uh, don't you, you may be convincing me to buy more and I don't I don't want to. I, there's a big enough hole in my wallet because of you. Dear God. Oh. Oh my I like I like these odds. This is this is good. Oh jeez. What yeah. Yeah, what mate? Is this uh is, is this just going to keep oh, 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 I was about to say getting a little bit unbelievable there. Still pretty unbelievable, all things. Jesus, I guess that's for all, all the packs we've been opening without any any very rares to show for. We just got hella very rares. Hell yeah, dude. It's freaking awesome. Let's go. Hopefully get some nice skills out of this. That's honestly the big ticket item. The big ticket question at the end of all of this, guys. Start crossing your fingers right now. I need as much luck as possible as early and as soon as possible we got three northern forest magazines though dude that's gonna be really cool to check out our inventory is full right now but let's get these puppies red Ooh, that's one level Ooh, half Ooh, another one so we got two rolls over there we are gonna have one roll in the forest and in the rocky zone we are also going to have a level up, although we already have the very rare skill from the rocky area still that could end up. Oh, and we got this too, the survive dude. We today, today's been a good day. That's actually really nifty because that's a raid level up we can use before we even head out on this raid. That's a pine zone level up we can put to use. Dear God, guys, wait, where's, where's my raid perk? Dude, I ain't seeing it. Does it only like show up three at a time? 
Do we literally, it, it literally, oh my god, we have perks for days to roll. Ah, that's okay. Extra chance in an oak log, I suppose. I suppose I could go with that. What about you, Mr. Pine Zone? Are we finally gonna max out the puppy breeder and never have to get it again? Yes, we are! Bless up, maxed. I still can't believe that we legitimately max leveled a perk before we even got a skill in like the other half of the common perks. Like, I, I don't know. I, I, I've been taking a class in statistics here. Statistically speaking, this is weird. <laughs> But uh, so be it, dude. I guess we're expert dog breeders moving forward. We got a roll over here. Probably an iron miner. I wouldn't mind an animal friend just to... Oh, uh, it's going to be a bit off. It's going to be... Oh, dude. Expl this one is the worst. Why does this even exist? Exploration experience. It's just like saying, oh, hey, we'll give you like 10% of a level <laughs> for a perk. Like, that's such a whack perk, dude. Instead of even getting a level in one of these... You're just a tenth of the way towards another chance at one of these. It is pretty, pretty heartbreaking to say the least. I'm, I'm definitely not a fan of that. What about you, Winter Zone? I haven't rolled on you in a minute. You got anything cool to show me, baby, baby? Just a little bit of copper mining. Maybe an ATV driver. That's going to be a very good perk to have down the line. Probably now it's just some more copper mining. Oh, yeah. God dang it. All right. And finally, the raid perk. Maybe the robber. Maybe we'll get a nice place there. Or maybe the trader. <gasps> oh. Oh. My timing was off. I, I actually thought we just got the trader. Well, of, of course. Of course. No, that that's it's not meant to happen. We can't have good luck. Actually, we had some pretty good luck getting all those books in the first place. So I I, I, I can't complain too much. I, I'm, I still can complain a bit. Definitely am going to complain a bit. But for, I'm, I'm pretty stoked, though. All in all pretty freaking stoked let's uh, put the last of that away and let's go oh let's also go and provide that bunk code for your boys and girls today's bunk code is looking like 98627 if that is out of date by the time you guys use it hopefully someone in that comment section has been fan freaking fantastic and contributed to the community with something amazing and helpful like that that's what i love about you guys that's what i love that makes us so special, man. Not just that I try to be as helpful and fan freaking fantastic as possible. Not just that you guys reiterate that fan freaking fantastic and truly do spread positivity, which is just honestly beautiful to see. But the fact that you guys are super helpful like that too, it just really is, is what makes what's what makes our videos the most special, man. I love this stuff. I love it, man. If, if, if my face cam was on, I'm just I'm just like jumping up and down from joy. Not really jumping, but like you know, hopping slightly in my seat like slightly up and down like a couple centimeters you know maybe an inch or two who knows what i know is we have arrived and with that oh this is a pretty raw base isn't it um okay okay he's actually he's got deer chilling here jesus okay mr deer man uh, he's got a chopper uh, this is yeah he's, he's <laughs> haven't had a base like this in a minute okay so there's literally nada in the base except for these chests that we'll be able to break through so honestly it's gonna be really nice we can just break through these using our level one chests level one uh hatchet not chest i'm a dingus uh yeah just level one hatchet super easy we got the food necessary i i this guy he, he does have one advantage over me this man is already probably more organized than i have ever been Ooh, it's kind of nice but eh he's still more organized than i think i've ever been in my life are you allowed to do that is hold on is this a hat? Is, are you allowed to put floors? Where? Oh, I was about to say, where are these guys coming from? Then I'm like, wait a minute. I know where they're coming from. Let's go ahead and put that on auto. Get uh, this thing in there. Hopefully not die. Oh, now let's switch back over to that one. You almost done there? Okay. Uh, why, don't, why don't I help out a little bit? Oh, did they patch it? They may have patched it in this latest update. The uh, shooty McShoot shoot. Glitchy Mabob. Uh, if, we had, if we had a shotgun, it'd be a lot easier to tell. For now, we just kind of got to play it by ear. Uh, let's keep on breaking into this, though. Like, I, this right here is what has me... Like, he's got a chest right there, too. Like, is that allowed? I, I don't know. And also, it's really weird to do this because, like... Okay, there we go. That'll let us break into the chest. Hopefully, we can loot it without having to chop down this tree. I, I mean, six copper ore. Seven of that. Nothing, nothing super crazy, I, I suppose. Could, could have been crazier, that's for sure. This definitely is not going to be... Oh. 
I eat my words. <laughs> I'm definitely taking this. Dude, we are running a little bit low on tape at home. Thank you for the pistol as well. Definitely taking that aluminum plate too. And that chest is looking pretty Gucci. Let's get to breaking through this one. We might get a level here too. Not going to lie. If oh ho 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 oh I saw some red tickets over there too but uh no this definitely still works to a certain degree look at how quickly we can shoot baby look at it look at it oh these floater bloaters are basking in their own defeats and suffering as soon as this guy goes down that is another level and another roll on the perk wheel what is that roll going to result into today oh the, the bruh the a heart can we just get rid of that like come on that's such a cop out like all of these have maxes that you can get and this one just like oh so by getting to 100 percent your prize is getting to 10 percent it's kind of like that, that is the that is oh my god i i don't know what you guys think i think we're all on the same page with that thing that thing is so i can't believe that's a few why is that in there dude that's all that i can say <laughs> whatever though let's keep on uh getting through this we got three more chests to break through uh, we'll probably end up breaking some random stuff to summon up the enemies and just get them to spawn in. Uh, so what you call? So that way they uh, show up and we get the XP from killing them uh, nice and quickly. Let's go ahead and put the valuables. Definitely put that engine part away. And honestly, this thing, that thing has a, we can scrap for some solid XP and a chance at an electronic circuit. So pretty nifty stuff. I was going to try to shoot the gap there. No gap shooty shooty today. And with that, what do we got? Two more here. Let's get through the final two chests until our ultimate salvation. Start breaking through a bunch of these hatchets. No, 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 no. I, I don't want... Why would you start chopping the tree, man? I just... Th there we go. Wanted to break into there. Boots? My boots are nicer. So no. Go away. I don't want your goddamn boots. What I want is to continue. God dang it. Yeah. The, I don't think that's allowed. I think this might be a hacker. Like... I, if that is indeed oh my god i see them descending upon me run oh hold on hold on we got a lot of people to deal with here we definitely want to put the ak in the backup slot all right let's blow through all the pistol that we can and then it's gonna be ak time let's go finish the job on these boys get a ton of that exp we oh so badly want from the siamese toxic abomination brothers over here jesus uh we can get those med kits probably stack them up Oh, real nice and easy. Actually, steal some fuel too. Uh, put that to work. Uh, two red tickets is worthwhile, I'd say. Could be, could be better, but it's, red tickets are red tickets, man. I love me some red tickets. I'll steal your steak. I'll steal some of that. Probably, I, I'll, I will put the extras away. I'll put the pistol on the second slot. I love that extra pocket, dude, for the extra rating slot too. That is truly how you can maximize it. Uh, but anyway, shuffle our inventory around a wee bit. Um, if he had raw meat, I might take that for the puppers back at home. But other than that, he's just got like, yeah, yes. okay, some more aluminum. I can stack an oak plank. Eh? Maybe he just got some food in there. Mm. I'm tempted by the phone. I'm not going to lie. Um, why don't we just take the aluminum? That stuff. We'll, we'll use that for a future raid where we ask the raiders for a raid. And then we have to bribe them off. I know you guys say that I can pay them off with... I've, I've seen some comments, actually, where I don't need to pay them with the stuff that we steal from a raid. This is a revenge raid, so that doesn't apply. But I, I know that you can just a lot of times. Like, I honestly don't mind giving them just some aluminum wire and stuff really quickly. It's just, it's just easy. Like, if I have loot in my base, it's my loot already, man. I, I, I ain't sharing that. This is with my clan. And those clan members are you guys. <laughs> that, oh, man. I, I can't wait for clans to come, dude. That is still probably going to be one of the hypest things to reach this game along with true multiplayer right now the multiplayer is kind of I, I put it like closer to testing more than anything thank you for the shotgun raid big boy i'd put it closer to testing more than anything but still it's pretty pretty nifty man and is a proof of concept absolutely amazing all things considered but with that done i believe done they do believe that we are gucci mm, yeah i don't i don't really think I, oh oh no we can put the gas away They'll give us one more inventory slot, and then we can do something. Play around with that a wee bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put that in there. Honestly, we could pour it. We needed ourselves a little bit of gas 
pretty badly. Dude, that witch, though. I just want to boss battle that thing already. It's going to be so cool, because in the infected forest, you're going to have a reason to go there. Right now, you just go there for the awful fight known as the big one. It's not really a fight. It's just him doing a lot of damage to you and you pumping him full of bullets. I feel like this witch, she's going to have some interesting functionality to her, man. I, I wonder if maybe she'll work. Ooh. Honestly, I could see her. Let me know what you guys think of this. I could see her working in the sense where, uh, eh, what's that last thing I want to pick up? Uh, where she summons enemies to help her and she screams kind of like the witch from Grim Soul. If you guys been watching the Grim Soul series, if not, highly recommend it, man. It's like medieval last day on earth and the Kafir, I believe, is partnered with the team that's making it to make sure that it's as Gucci as possible. So that's a pretty good sign. Uh, but yeah, honestly, it's, it's shaped up to be pretty good and part of the functionality of that, right? Is that there's a witch as just like a normal enemy and what she does is she'll scream and enemies will like all surrounding enemies will come out and help her what i think might happen with this new witch is that she might scream periodically and enemies will simply be summoned and it provides support to her if that makes any sense i i maybe it does maybe it doesn't hopefully it does though uh dude oh we gotta use some shotgun rain hold on yeah we could just honestly just shoot the shotgun until people show up can we uh shot Oh no! Oh, well, we don't have anything to shoot at, to be fair. Uh, yeah, we could just shoot the pistol a ton. In all honesty, we're probably just gonna do that really quickly. So, uh, yeah, eventually, everyone will saw. Okay, this, this is gonna take forever. I'll just chop a couple things down. I'm not trying to subject you guys to that. Let's just, uh, I mean, like, this thing could potentially have some good stuff, you know? And it's gonna raise it by a good amount of noise. Hey, 20 iron. If I was short on iron, I'd be interested. Maybe something good in this one. I'm kind of bummed there wasn't any steel here, though. Definitely sucks when you get a base that doesn't have steel. I mean, not every base can have steel, but it heights. It definitely heights. All right, what about you, Mr. Furnace? You smelting anything Gucci before things hit the fan? Nah, he was going to maybe start. But for real, I think uh, it's kind of like the functionality of the new boss that came in the latest Grim Soul update, where, uh, like, random wolves are summoned to help him out periodically i think she might work like as a combination of the witch from grim soul and the gatekeeper from grim soul and it's gonna be really interesting to see that unfold dude we haven't had a new boss since well the blind one so i really really do want to see how this goes down hello toxic abomination oh yeah the full auto shotgun still works just fine bless up to the full auto bless up to the full auto oh, to the toxic abomination goodbye to you big one i ain't sticking around you piece of doo-doo yeah you big doo-doo head i'm right, just making sure nothing's there Flee. Fleeing. Successful. Very nice. Very nice. Goodbye, big one. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry you couldn't give me a big old hug. I know I know you're nothing but a giant teddy bear, but you're also a teddy bear with spikes for your hands, and I don't want to be spiked to death, so that's a no for me, dog. <laughs> uh, ooh, Bunker is ready for a refresh. We could make our way over there with some yellow and green tickets and see what... Uh, what might unfold? Honestly, we got a little bit of time here. I think I'd be interested in such uh, such potential, to be honest. And I think we need to clear out. A, we have some kind of quest from the raiders here. I'd love to do some of these quests because I trust me. Even though like I do use a good amount of time, the coins here, I still prefer not to use them. What man in their right mind prefers using coins over not using them? You know, these things that cost moolah. I don't like just throwing moolah at the game, all right? It pains me, but it brings me great joy to know I can give you guys the best gameplay imaginable. So uh, it's all Gucci on that front, but still, is uh, we could definitely get some of like the fourth floor. Eh. And we could maybe do the fourth floor on hard mode. Eh, those turrets are annoying on hard mode. Don't know about that. Uh, okay, though, let's grab what we can. Let's have a oh, dear God, we're dying of thirst. Oh, what is that? Part of the recycler sticking out. Anyways, oh, we're dying of thirst. We got to fo uh, focus on this priority at hand really quickly. There we go. Get that filling back up. I, I like how I just never take water bottles with me. I just hopefully drink enough water before I leave. Putting a lot of faith in my digestive system. Is that mine? I, I, some kind of system of mine. Definitely some faith being put into it. We can put the aluminum wire away there. Uh, but the key component which we seek for come in the form of the tickets. Oh, there they are. Oh, no, not enough yellow tickets. Oh, oh, no, you are wrong. You are wrong, comrade. More than enough yellow tickets. They just so happen to be at the bottom of this big old chest 
All right here. All right there. So we can only open up the yellow chest for the time being. But who cares? It's, it's, it's still an opening. Like, I'll, I'll take that to the bank, dude. Get, get out of here. Let's just definitely put our blue tape away. Don't want to lose this because we seriously have been having a bit of a blue tape shortage as a weight. So uh, I, w I would enjoy having a good amount of that. Let's uh, put our weaponry away here nice and proper. Uh, honestly, why don't I bring an 8K with it? Uh, we still got the shotgun. Honestly, the shotgun should do. Uh, put a couple of dumb things away really quickly. We'll get that processing really nice but uh i probably want to find some slots for for these things too now that i think about it um if not oh hold on i think we'll actually be gucci on the tape because we had like 10 there hey marvelous that tape is put away nice and neatly we should have the woodworking bench here continuing to put in work well it wasn't because it didn't have enough but now that it has enough it will continue to put in work on that front and we should be able to put some of that in there because we had a ton of charcoal schmelting and honestly it, we'll, we'll just keep this in our inventory for next time we're gonna need hatches to do some raiding anyway and just to review and so i could actually write it down this time instead of just tell you guys <laughs> from the kindness of my hurt uh 98627 that's the magical code that's going to get us into the magical place known as the bunker. And hopefully, in some magical engine parts. Best case scenario, pretty sure we got... Ooh, we got to put those things away, too. Uh, we'll get around to that. Uh, pretty sure, best case scenario, we can get two engine parts out of the yellow crate. I think we've gotten two engine parts out of, like, each of them, you know? So, uh, that being red, yellow, and green. I, I, I distinctly remember getting two engine parts from a green and being hype af and then i'm guessing if we could get it from green why the hell would we be able to get it from a yellow so i think that's best case scenario here maybe some guns some styles guns would be really nice you know what else would be nice some some hydration because I'm, I'm getting thirsty dude and I, if you guys are watching the fortnite stream today holy hell man fortnite just got this dope new game mode we were having some fun with freaking it, it was last not last down there but it was fortnite a crossover with Infinity War, the Avengers, and it's a that like a Thanos game mode. Like, dude, freaking got the gauntlet and everything, and you, you transform into him, go around rampaging stuff. It's it's absolutely nutty. Ton of fun. It got to be him. Hi it, it 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 was pretty hype. Didn't know how to play him the best right away, but uh, I I did some research into it, and I think I know how to play him proper. That that is just a fun game mode, though, dude. It's. It's crazy seeing what Fortnite can do. That's why I hope you guys give Fortnite a chance. You know, I'm not posting it a ton on the channel, but occasionally I do hop into it and try to post a good gameplay or, you know, show off something awesome and new. Because uh, at the end of the day, that's what I love doing, man. Just showing awesome and new stuff off for anything possible. Because new stuff is dope. I think that goes without saying. Goodbye, fast buddy. Thank you for the easy peasy kill. Let's get them yellow tickets. Line down up and let's see what there is with it. Ooh! Double shotgun rain! Thank you, yellow ticket crate! Ah, uh, but we put that to use. That right there, that's a blind one kill, if we so want it. And at this rate, we might want it, because we got two free shotguns. It's a great usage of that, but uh, let's grab a couple of things from here and go ahead and actually start making our way back. But uh, yeah, like I was saying during that stream, today's finals day. And whatnot it was nutty but uh I, I just had a lot of fun playing that and uh i just hope you guys give games like that a chance and some of the dope survival games coming out this month and just over summer a lot of a lot of hype stuff i'm very excited and uh i'm very excited to hopefully wish y'all nothing but the most favorite as a day in the world can't wait to your chance guys like i said about the witch definitely let me know that down below your thoughts your opinions your own hypotheses but uh that's gonna wrap it up for me for now best of luck to you guys getting your chopper gas tank joining the chopper squad getting past the multiplayer wall getting your skills getting your puppas bread going on your raids all that type of jazz and most important of all a fan for fantastic time along the way through all of that last day on earth related or just random stuff going on in that pretty pretty life of yours but that's gonna wrap it up for me for now thank you guys a whole ton for watching have yourselves an awesome one and i'll talk to you next one see ya